far, well, the, the status of the uh, the military helicopter market globally looking at, uh, is uh, sending quite mixed signals. Uh, looking at the Western markets, where the, actually the demand is quite flat, uh, it's more about um, platform upgrades or smaller intake that uh, initially uh, should move. However, looking now more on the eastern side uh, and especially Asia Pacific, Middle East, the demand is uh, still very, um, very strong. Uh, this is really driven by obsolete fleet, high threat perception. Um, and also increasing military capabilities. Um, so yeah, it's really mixed signals between the West and the, and the Eastern market, uh, very, very different. So actually, when I was mentioning the, the Western region, actually for looking at Europe, um, looking at Western Europe, pretty flat now, looking at Eastern Europe, uh, today has been announced uh, the new tender for um, utility helicopters in Hungary. We know that Poland also is looking at acquiring attack helicopters, in addition of the, uh, the medium heavy helicopters for utility. Uh, same for Czech Republic. Uh, we had some interest from uh, Lithuania. I'm also looking of course at Asia Pacific uh, where we have a very uh, significant program in India. Uh, also the, the recently announced program in, in Japan, South Korea as well. Uh, very demanding in terms of, uh, of new helicopters and Middle East uh, also for military platform also with the maritime shift. Uh, now, having said that, it's more in terms of um, the demand is there, there is a strong need. Then for OEMs, it's more also looking at accessible markets. So if you are Western manufacturers, some of the market won't necessarily be accessible to you. It might be like maybe the case uh, of the, um, the new helicopter program, uh, attack helicopter program in, uh, in Pakistan, uh, where actually um, Chinese, Turkish and Russian uh, manufacturers uh, are really uh, looking to compete in this one, uh, whereas Western manufacturers won't necessarily be present. Yeah, indeed, it's, uh, it's a very concerning question because even if there is a very strong demand, as we were mentioning, the several billions program in, in India or in, uh, in Japan or in Indonesia, it's still smaller uh, volume of orders for, uh, for military helicopters. Uh, well, the US remains the, the biggest and the largest heli uh, helicopter market in the world commercially and military. Uh, and so to really offset the decline, um, it's, uh, it might be very challenging, it's, uh, especially if we are looking at export markets, where now emerging markets are really looking at partnering with leading manufacturers. So it's more about joint production, uh, joint support through the whole supply chain and the aftermarket. Uh, so it might not be as prom promising. It's not just about FMS uh, package, but really uh, interesting for American manufacturers. But still challenging. Quite interestingly is also the whole maritime shift, uh, not just because of high threat perception in Asia Pacific, but also in Middle East, looking at really develop uh, maritime capabilities because so far it's missing. Um, so quite interesting trend, uh, not just at the airframe level, but also at the system level. Um, currently as well, we are looking at uh, a strong interest in uh, light single engine, twin engine helicopters. Uh, so there is a very strong demand for scooting helicopters, light utility. Um, but actually the question maybe on the long term in the next 10 years will be more in heavy lift capabilities uh, and very heavy helicopters. Uh, so the tilt rotor might be in the, in the, in the horizon. Uh, in Europe there is no very heavy uh, helicopters like the Mil-26 for instance. So that's also another trend that uh, will uh, progressively uh, develop through the years. And uh, I, in my opinion, also the, uh, the the latest trend, quite interesting, is the uh, now the man unmanned helicopters, the OPVs. Uh, already started with the Cam with Kaman and the, the KMAX in Afghanistan. Now Sikorsky also with the Mural program, quite interesting for uh, logistic transport uh, and uh, medevac uh, missions. So closely monitoring the trends <laughs> for the next ten years.